Hi, I'm Mrs. Smith, and today we're going to talk about biotic and abiotic parts of an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a community of interacting living things and their environment. It's made up of living and non-living factors. What? Why didn't any of my teachers tell me this sooner? Well, I've known this since the fourth grade. Well, I've known this since the fourth grade. All right, you two. Well, you're both learning it now, so that's the important thing. Biotic refers to the living or once living parts of an ecosystem. Things like plants, animals, fungi, and bacteria can all be classified as biotic. You know what I thought would be fun? I took my camera around to see what sort of biotic things I could find that are a part of my little piece of the world. I found a bunch of things just right in my own backyard. Things like this deer. It's living, so it's biotic. By the way, the grass, the trees, also biotic. I knew that's what you were thinking. And the deer, who's trying to tell this little creature to back off, who's probably going to go chase it now. Oops, sorry, my bad. Let's turn your attention to something else biotic. How about this clover? It grows. It's alive. Or how about this bird? It's a cardinal. And even that straw would be biotic because even though it's cut down right now, it was once living, so it still qualifies. And how about these cute little bunnies that kept trying to leave every time I got my camera out? They're not show bunnies like Ziggy, but they're pretty cute. Come on, little guy, do something cute. And I promise you they were just happily playing together right before I got my camera. And even these flowers that have been sitting here for a while, they were once living, so they count as biotic. But I guess it is time I do something with them. But not only did I find a bunch of biotic factors when I was walking around my yard, I found a lot of abiotic factors too. Abiotic factors are the non-living parts of an ecosystem. They include things like temperature, weather, light, and water. Let's see what I found. These rocks would be abiotic. They're not living. And there's more over here, more rocks. Let's see what else we can find. Hmm. Okay, Mrs. Smith, I think that's enough footage of the rocks. Aha. I know we said the grass and the clover are biotic factors, but the sunshine that you can see right there, those sun rays, that's an abiotic factor. It's not living but it's an important part of the ecosystem that organisms need. Hmm, what else would be abiotic? Oh, I have an idea, but we're gonna have to wait for that. Here it is, I had to wait a couple days before it rained, which is unusual here in Ohio. But weather would also be an abiotic factor. And speaking of biotic and abiotic factors, let's play biotic or abiotic. I'll show you a video of something I found in my little part of the world, and you tell me whether it's biotic or abiotic. So we're gonna start with this one. A deer, would that be biotic or abiotic? Yep, it would be biotic. And those deer sure love eating my plants. Let's try another one. I was in my car trying to go somewhere. How about these geese? Walking down the street, they actually had to stop traffic. Would they be biotic or abiotic? That's me waiting on the corner for them to get out of the way. Yep, they would be biotic. They're living. How about this bird building a nest up in my gazebo on my deck? Actually, and the nest would qualify too. Are they biotic or abiotic?
Yep. Biotic. There's usually quite a few birds fighting for this corner up here. But every time I open the door with my camera, they would fly away. I'm definitely not the quietest nature photographer. Let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. Ah, oh, there we go. Of course, a pile of dirt. What do you think? Biotic or abiotic? Yup, that would be abiotic. It's not living, but still an important part of the ecosystem. Maybe more dirt over here? Oh, no. Next we have this little bunny. This was a little bunny. And there's a little surprise. Do you see it up top? I didn't know it was there when I started oh, lizard. the camera. There's a lizard up there. So what would both the rabbit and the lizard be? There's the lizard. Do you see it? You they see the both lizard? be biotic, right? They're both living? In front of them. Living's biotic? Oh, and this was one of my favorite. I went out one night and this tree frog was on my car. And I couldn't believe it. I know you know he's biotic. I just wanted you to stare at him a little while. He's so cute. could find in your yards. It's fun. You should give it a try. But for now, I have to say goodbye. I mean, good biotic or abiotic, whichever. Have a good one.